scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I just want to praise you. I lift my hands to say I love you. You are everything. To me and I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name. Lift your hands and worship Him. You deserve the lifting of my hands to you. Lift your hands and worship Him. Si Baba Raku Sabra Ni Baraku Sabra Ni Salabaya. Ubangi Ji Kai Kare Kai Sayabo. Thank you. 
say thank you. As individuals and as a family of faith, we are grateful people. We declare, oh God, that there is nothing done in this place that is on the strength of the flesh. And Lord, we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that only you can touch and change the lives of your people tonight. No man, it is not given to any man to produce transformation in his skin. Your people have come from everywhere tonight trusting for an encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus Christ we pray, do miracles tonight. Do miracles tonight. Mighty miracles tonight. Oh, let there be grace for the working of miracles tonight. Faithful God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You're the mighty God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You're the all wise God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Lift your hands and sing to him. You are mighty in this place. I tell you, I see angels in this place. That's what I'm saying to the spirit. You are mighty in this place. Miracles of angels. Miracles of angels. You are mighty in this place. Faithful. presence tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Forever. Spirit of the living God, tonight we pray that you will invade this place. Glory to your name, O God. You are the only one who deserves to be exalted. There is no man who competes with you. There is no man who can take your place. The Bible says, What is man that thou art mindful of? Not the son of man that thou visitest him. You have made him a little lower than Elohim, crowned him with glory and virtue, set him over the works of your creation.
us the voice. Song, I'm seeing miracle jobs, miracle jobs. The Holy Spirit is ministering to me, releasing jobs for people, releasing jobs for families. I said the delay, the delay of employment is coming to an end for many people. The delay of employment. something strange that will begin to happen in the spirit people will start dancing in the spirit this is what I see it's a mystery it's going to happen by the spirit literally literally dancing in the spirit it's an operation of the Holy Spirit is releasing tonight he's doing a miracle in the midst of his people let's just flow with what the Holy Ghost is doing the miracle service for next week has begun already dancing in the spirit the holy spirit is moving people and influencing them influencing them by an ability that is greater 
na boca sobra de escalabariada. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Forever you will be. To worship you, sit on another day, forever you shall not another one. You're the Lamb of God. Forever you From 
your throne and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace. Let your Lord, we wait on you. For you are that river that flows from Zion. Bring in healing. Bring in salvation. We have come tonight, O oh God, expecting you to bless us. We are not in a hurry. We are not in a hurry. We will wait. Just keep your hands lifted. For in your presence there's fullness of joy and our strength shall be restored as we wait upon I will wait on the For in your presence there's fullness of joy and our strength will be restored for we wait upon the Lord yes we wait upon the Lord oh wait on him there is strength coming upon you we wait upon the Lord we wait upon the Lord Shena na 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 mo na so na 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 mi. Shena ma na mo so na 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 na. Shena na na shena na na ni na na. Shena na mo so na na ma ni na mo se da ni na 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 na. Shena ma de na na da ma ni na mo so na na ni. Ma na na mo so na na ni. Lord, we wait on you. You are drawing strength from the throne. Don't you think you are wasting time at all? This is part of the meeting. Already he's doing miracles. He's touching people by his anointing. Touching people by his anointing. No man is able to respond to your situation. We're invoking an anointing that is greater than us. Power that is greater than us. I hear the Spirit say unto me, lay your burdens down. Lay your burdens down. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Lay your burdens down. The bills, the sickness, the frustrations. For I am able, said the Spirit of God. I am able, said the Spirit of God. Lay your burdens down. You have allowed your situations to overwhelm you. You have allowed your situations to be cloud your faith. I am still able. I am still able, said the Spirit of God. I am still able. That's what the Lord is telling us tonight. I am able. You may not know how the miracle will come to pass, but I am able. I am able. That's what the Lord is saying. I'm moving ahead of you into that area of darkness. 
The Lord is giving people miracles, responding to your individual needs. I may not know what they are, but you came for koinonia. The God of heaven is meeting men at the point of their needs. I go before you. I go before you. I go before you. I'm seeing what looks like a cleaner. God is saying, I'm erasing your mistakes. That's what God is saying to someone. I'm erasing your mistakes. I'm erasing your past. I'm giving you a new beginning. I'm giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. Yes, we someone I'm restoring your dreams and visions that's what God is saying I'm restoring I'm restoring your dreams those encounters you used to have those supernatural encounters you stopped writing for a long time because the visitation ceased tonight the oil is being opened and released onto you it's like a fragrance you are receiving it it's coming upon your life that's what the spirit is saying it's time to come back to the secret place. It's time to come back to the secret place. For someone, the Lord is ministering. You used to spend time with me two hours every night. But you stopped. You stopped. There were all kinds of distractions. But the Lord is saying, I'm still waiting for you. In that place of encounter, I'm still waiting for you to show you great things. To show you great things. To show you great things. The Lord is speaking to a man here. You are an engineer. And he's saying, do not give up. I'm about to step into your life. Do not give up. The Lord gave you a word by January that he will honor you. But as it is, you've not seen anything. No projects, no work. But the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's stepping in, even in this glory. Stepping in in this glory. There are a number of ladies here. You really used to hear God with clarity. But all kinds of distractions came into your life and sincerely for a long time. You cannot say you really had God with a clear direction. But the Lord is bringing a restoration right now. That's what is happening. The hearing ears. God is opening your ears once again. To start hearing the voice of the Spirit. With clarity. I'm seeing, I'm seeing green grasses. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing freshness to your spiritual life. That life of staleness. Staleness carrying yesterday's grace yesterday's glory the lord is replacing it with something new and fresh thank you jesus you alone will do these things and glorify yourself. You have come tonight to experience His grace. The anointing of the Spirit is strong. Let's just flow with what God is doing. Lord, let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. According to your promises, I can stand secure. Would you carve upon my heart 
this truth that sets me free according to your word oh lord be it unto me Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, says the works that I do shall also do greater works than this shall be. Spirit of God, we thank you for your presence. speaking a word to someone and he's saying the harassment comes to stop it comes to full stop tonight the harassment in dreams that spirit that comes to you to oppress you the harassment stops the harassment stops by the anointing of the Holy Spirit the harassment stops the harassment stops But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. expecting a touch you're already touching people in the name of Jesus please everyone just lay your right hand on your tummy this is the instruction God is giving let's just act lay your right hand on your tummy please no instruments everything just stop let's, let's just obey what the Lord is saying just lay your right hand on your tummy don't mind me this is what the Holy Ghost is telling me. Now, there are many of you who are going to be receiving strange graces for the next level. Supernatural direction. It will come like fire inside and outside. Right now, oh God, confirm your word with power across this building and in every of the overflows. Right now, just keep your hands on your stomach. Miracles. Shabakataya. Let it leave the heavens and come to the earth. Miracles. Miracles. Everywhere. Outside, there is a mighty angelic walk. It's like an impregnation that is happening outside. Strange signs outside. In every one of the overflows. Strange signs of the spirit. Strange signs. There are two ladies at my back in the worship team. I see the power of God touching you right now. Strange signs, that fire from your innermost being. From your innermost being right now. The Lord is doing that miracle across the entire auditorium. He's touching people. Let's just let him do what he's doing. Because this is the answer to your prayer. This is why you have prayed. You can't stand it. Lord, let it leave your throne. Let it not be restrained in the heavens until it steps into the destinies of your people this is what they have prayed for 
they have fasted for it they have prayed they have fasted they have prayed they have fasted then let it come oh god let it come oh god the grace that can open strange doors strange testimonies strange testimonies shaka barakusia just the guitar just play minors just on the guitar go ahead in the name of the lord jesus christ not the bass guitar just keep your hands on your stomach the Lord is doing a miracle the Lord is saying he's stepping into the finances of families this is what I'm hearing that's why he told me let the guitar play because he wants to speak the Lord is doing miracles in finance in the finances of many families right now I'm hearing favor financial favor I'm releasing financial favor you will hear the testimony it will start in your life it will flow to your family that's what the Lord is saying where are they oh God touch them touch them touch them touch them bring performance to your word bring creation to your word financial miracles financial miracles the Lord is saying it's time to move to the next level he's speaking to families it's time to move financially there is a mantle coming I'm seeing it like a dew it's like the dew of heaven if it comes upon you it's your family he's talking about if it comes upon you expect it don't just receive expect a testimony I don't know how it will happen but if you are affected by this prophetic word then your family is under the influence of a financial anointing Lord spare not your hands stretch it from the heavens stretch it from the heavens release financial miracles that's what the Lord is saying for many of you it will do you like a dream you would not even know how it will happen supernatural connections strategic alliances by the Spirit of God meeting the people that matter meeting the people that matter financial saviors financial helpers Joseph of Arimathea's rising for you rising for you this is what you have prayed for it is important that you receive testimonies you receive miracles there is a lady you traveled from the south like a, one of the Yoruba countries you came all the way from the south and you came asking the Lord to visit your family right now the miracle is already beginning for your family such an invasion of the Spirit of God it's bringing light to every area of darkness There is a brother the Lord is speaking. He's saying, leave the wedding date at September. Don't move it. Leave it there. I will make it happen. It will be by my spirit. The Lord is speaking to a brother. Leave the wedding date at September. Leave it there. Don't change it because of finances. I will move and go ahead of you. I will move and go ahead of you. I will move and go ahead of you. The Lord is speaking to a woman here, not a young lady, a woman. The dream that I gave you July 2012 is about to come to pass. The dream that I gave you July 2012. July 2012 is coming to pass speedily. July 2012. That dream that I gave you July 2012 is coming to pass. A miracle is coming for a gentleman by the name Musa. Musa, a gentleman by the name Musa. The Lord is bringing a miracle for him right now. God is healing a lady of appendicitis. 
appendicitis that's what that's what it is you don't know but you've been having severe pain severe pain is appendicitis and the Lord is bringing a miracle right now there is a man here you've been trusting God for promotion this is five years five years the Lord says in the next three months your letter will arrive in the next three months and you will testify pay attention to the prophetic words there is grace to make them come to pass Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please be seated if you can. Just leave those under the anointing. Just sit if you can. God is doing strange things tonight. There are three ladies. This will come upon supernatural laughter in a very strange way they can't control it i will worship you forever love you forever this god is too don't just bring people out like that please this is a prophetic experience they'll never be able to stop the laughter it's not it's not about what they want to do is a is a message i will worship you forever love you forever because i prophesy to all three of you let your family step into a season of laughter right now i release that anointing even as you are laughing i release it in the name of jesus there is authority in your laughter i declare by that authority in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names the lord is bringing miracles to people glorify yourself oh god in the name of jesus listen we do business in this kingdom on the strength of mysteries mysteries are secret codes of operation he said the secrets of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants there is a way to make things happen in the spirit madam the witchcraft in your family dies forever it leaves your family right now i command that spirit you take your hands of her life in the name of Jesus Christ. James, 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 you are a visitor. Who is that? Is there someone like that? James. There's someone called James. He's a visitor. This is your first time of coming. Run. The Lord wants to use you and bring a miracle to your family. But look at me. God needs to save you. Huh? There are many things wrong with your life. Many things. Huh? You are a bad boy. God is going to change your entire life. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not insulting you, but there will be a miracle for you right now. Because the hand of God is upon your life, but there is a spirit that is destroying you. A spirit that is destroying you. I cast that spirit right now. Let it live your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you can use anybody and anything. You brought James out in the name of Jesus. Let me talk to one more lady, Helene. I'm hearing a name, Helene. Is there someone with that name, Helene?
không Who came with you? Came alone. You came alone. But why am I seeing a man standing near you? Listen. If there is a spirit tormenting you, let her go now. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. This has stopped her life, tied everything. I'm seeing everything under chains. There is a man standing. And this man is shouting and saying he's married to you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, that spirit lives your life forever. I bring you complete deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Are you married? That's it for your marriage. This is the reason why you're not married. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because this has been your prayer. This has been your desire. Anything you start. And I need to pray for you because your stomach is swelling. It's even embarrassing you. You are thinking it's because you are eating too much. If I don't pray for you, they will tell you something like fibroid is growing. And we have to pray. We curse it. It dies a natural death and goes back there. That person that comes to oppress you in your dream never returns to you again forever in the name of Jesus. And may doors open for you strangely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Um, there are three things, three keys, three mysteries that can invoke the manifested presence of God. The manifest presence of God in the life of a man, in a ministry. I wanted to start a series on throne room encounters but the lord asked me to talk about this number one is obedience we're going to be fast because i want us to pray god still wants to visit people my sister come this lady um where the usher is standing that gentleman right one two three just your rope the third lady come no not you the lady at your back come Yes, she's the one. You come, please. Please save our time. Um, the Lord says I should prophesy to you that the rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. You may look at yourself and think you are nobody. You may look at yourself and think you are a weak person this is what has been destroying you you compare yourself with people you have been crying simply because you are not doing well you are not doing well in anything and then people have been insulting you and this has made you to feel so bad while you were sitting there the lord opened my eyes and i saw a lot of misery you see the lady crying you see let me tell you there are all kinds of people seated in this place tonight when you see people just sitting, you may not know what is destroying them, eating them up. Because the destiny that I see is far different from what I see right now. This is already putting a lot of pressure. You love God, but you know, this sense of inferiority is killing you and eating you up. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the rejected stone will later become the chief cornerstone. Lord Jesus, I pray for this dear lady. There is nobody you cannot change. There is nobody you cannot touch. May the God that I serve visit you. May he give you a new beginning. I cut you away from bad friends and bad influences that make you try to do things to belong. No. Leave them this night. Don't have anything to do with them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, Madam, you are asking the Lord to talk to me that I should minister to you. I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are praying and your prayer is coming to my ears. You are bowing your head and you are saying, Oh God, please let this man talk to me. What is the relationship between you and the woman sitting close to you? She's 
my elder sisters do i know come because i'm seeing that the miracle is not just for you alone but god is doing something for the family please stand up brother. kai this woman has suffered seriously i look at this woman i'm seeing pains you are a very kind woman but what is this thing that makes you in trouble all sorts of trouble where is your husband what's he doing madam god needs to visit three things that's what the lord is showing me number one is your finances things are dying in your family that thing your husband is doing before he collects his salary he's already owing there is serious trouble you have cried about this thing it's even causing trouble for you people at home right yes, now sir. is that true yes your husband is in in fact sometimes he looks as if you know you have to look at yourself and say am i irritating this man yes, because sir. of the way he's behaving you are even yes. suspecting that maybe he's having an affair with somebody yes, else sir. the lord is ending this confusion for you because you are a kind woman there is a spirit responsible for your tragedy this woman is a very kind woman but i'm seeing bad luck everywhere you go that's what i'm seeing there's nothing you do that works see let me tell you the power of god look at this family crying you know sometimes people think we just do these things because we are emotional and we're wasting time did you know there are people as they are sitting down there that's their last opportunity they are saying they will now go to a prophet or somebody and he will tell them bring hundred thousand bring two hundred thousand remove your clothes let me bath you let me do this and then after that one you add all kinds of things because i'm looking at this woman and i'm seeing a lot of struggle the same spirit causing you pain is what wants to destroy her life and destroy what is supposed to be an, a source of joy for her marriage huh we have to pray did you come alone they are crying for official assignment yesterday she told me about your story i supposed to go back to abuja yeah my Three for my son. It's a drug addict. My first son, 23 years. A drug addict. Where is he? He's in Abuja. Suleiman. It's not just that this boy is a drug addict. Ah, I don't like what I'm seeing, no. Because they want to convert this boy. That's what I'm saying. This is this is not a nice thing. We are going to pray. Truly, this woman has suffered. But things are going to change. Your husband needs a miracle, a big miracle. Do you know this woman is so kind? She's not even concerned about herself. She would rather not have clothes than for her children. This is the kind of woman I'm seeing in the spirit. I sold my car to pay school fees. I sold my car to pay my sons. Can you work on this technical or Shadrach? Are you doing something wrong? I sold my car to pay my son's school Your fees. Your car? To pay whose school fees? My son's school fees. The boy that is. Oh, yes. look at this. Where is he? See, let me tell you may god make this never be your testimony you don't know what it means the child you are waiting for trusting that god will use him to wipe your tears and the devil just hijacks his destiny now no car and the son is not even serious i need to pray for you because you have not slept very well in days madam i'm looking at your sister and i'm seeing that you have not slept i'm hearing you people saying what what is wrong with our family especially the girls the ladies in your family that's what you you are the one who is saying that thing you are telling her i'm seeing you people in a discussion and you you are telling her what is wrong with our family all the ladies they are virtuous they love god but nothing good comes out of it and there are families like this seated looking at me is that true madam yes sir because i'm hearing a conversation and she's asking you we are saying, seven, seven ladies, seven how women. many of you seven of us how who is doing well among you 
nobody you see what i'm saying seven ladies nobody is doing well and all of them are serious and nice virtuous ladies they either get married to foolish men yes, or get married to all kinds of things yes sir where is number four who is number four among them it's her mother huh her mother there is a miracle that god wants to give her because the lord said that she's number four in the order is visiting her my dear please calm down what happened to your mother in her marriage the devil wants to bring it to happen to you we are going to destroy it. their father is not with her mother that's what i'm saying we are going to destroy it because this one so i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship him forever love him because this god is too good bring that lady who shouted there is a miracle god wants to give her family is it okay if i just continue ministering please i know i'm supposed to share something but the the thing god is doing now god wants to talk to people let's let's just let him solve serious problems here it's your time for breakthrough stand up you come I came all the way an angel of the Lord was walking and said I should follow him and he brought me to your place come it's time for God to wipe your tears you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you thank you you get the glory you get the glory hallelujah we don't kill but i'm seeing someone's uncle dying i'm seeing that man in a shrine concocting something and saying all the ladies would not marry but i'm seeing like thunder striking him that's what the lord is should help that lady right now i'm seeing it happen i announce our obituary if i be a servant of the lord right now may the earth open and swallow them i speak it by the anointing of the holy ghost any man sitting on what belongs to you any man sitting on your glory jimmy god is bringing a miracle for your sister i'm seeing your sister i'm seeing your face and i'm seeing her still flash is she here Ooh. come i didn't even know that she's here i'm seeing the lord is saying he's bringing a miracle for her i'm seeing somebody clean footprints on the ground that's what i'm seeing you are moving and you are leaving footprints and the footprints i see flies all around it but i'm seeing someone cleaning cleaning it and the lord is saying i should tell you remember not the former things not consider the things of old he says i should tell you behold i will do a new thing god will begin a strange walk in your life and it's going to surprise you a strange walk you have a desire for god you sincerely love god and let me tell you the desire is not a waste the same way your brother is loving god and being passionate look at me it's not about perfection it's about sincerity of motive the, the journey to self-perfection is unnecessary and exhausting what God requires is a sincere desire from you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing that will wipe the past of this lady's life, the past that eats you, I curse it by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, may your conscience be purged by the blood. May the water of the word cleanse you. And may grace be supplied unto you for a new dimension for a new level i release this grace upon you in the name of the lord jesus christ let's go to exodus 40 33 please exodus 40 33 we really have to be fast <sighs> exodus 40 33 
Moses wanted to once again experience the manifested presence of God but he could not see that presence find expression until his obedience was perfected complete let me tell you something half obedience is not obedience at all half obedience you must obey to the latter God is very meticulous about his instructions are we together now and so God kept watching as they attempted building it and then 40 verse 33 he says and he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up for the hanging of the court gate right read the last sentence if you have open there he says so moses finished the work he finished building according to pattern obeyed as instructed to the latter and something happened in the next verse 34 he says then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle the word glory is the Hebrew word kabod the essence the fullness the expression of all that makes a man what he is or whatever deity so when we say the glory of God the effulgence of his person right filled the temple 35 and Moses was not able to enter the tent of congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord filled the temple when you are obedient you will see the glory of the Lord in your life in most remarkable ways you don't have to be a pastor to see the glory of God you don't have to be a man of God once you are kingdom compliant the sacrifice of complying with the principles of the kingdom then you are authorized to experience the glory you see you may not be able to see all of the clouds and all of that but the glory of god is made manifest in miracles strange testimonies dramatic operations of the hands of god that leaves you baffled everyone who sees you knows that this is by the finger of god that's somebody's testimony tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ grace to obey grace to obey you must cry for it Complete obedience gives you access. Access to experiencing the glory. Number two. The second key to experiencing the manifestation of God's glory. Is prayer. Prayer. Matthew chapter 7. 17. Matthew 17. Verse 1 to 8. Matthew 17. Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 this was the encounter that we call the transfiguration of Jesus I apologize for the inability of the media to switch for now please just bear with us I'm sure they are working on it and after six days listen Jesus taketh Peter James and John his brother and bringeth them up into a high mountain privately there are certain things in the kingdom that are not just for Christians listen I know we have this idea that yes God doesn't want to hide anything from us but you see the dispensation of spiritual realities is according to the degree to which the Spirit of God can trust you there are certain trust levels if you have not attained certain deep mysteries of the kingdom cannot be committed to you the bible says that he was one who called all the disciples but he took three and he says there is something i want to show you privately what did he show them privately a mystery the bible says and was transfigured before them listen he went to the place of prayer and that transfiguration began and the bible says his face did shine like the sun and his raiment was as white as the light and behold there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him listen verse 4 he says then then answered Peter and said unto Jesus Lord it is good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make this and that and that and that you know and then he was just speaking and so on and so forth 
and then the bible says verse 5 while he yet spoke jesus was communicating with them in the place of prayer and he was trying to make an arrangement and the bible says behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and then behold a voice spoke out of the cloud and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him verse 6 he says and when the disciples heard it they fell on their face and they were much terrified he says and jesus came and touched them and said arise and be not afraid and when they had lifted up their eyes they saw no man except jesus only listen there is a dimension of the glory of god you will never experience until the ministry of prayer brings you there you can do every bible study you know to do you can read every concordance takes and so on and so forth there is a decree of open heavens the manifestation of the glory of god upon a man's life that is a direct answer to the ministry of prayer are we together now he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to say it he spake a parable B by prayer i don't just mean oh god give me tea give me bread that's just, that's petition 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 give me tea give me bread that's petition hallelujah the kind of prayer i'm talking about is the type that is said in the book of james effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man you see let me tell you there is nothing in your life that can substitute for the absence of a healthy life of prayer no matter your word level it would show when a man does not have an altar that is alive an altar of prayer the first thing that disappears is discernment discernment is lack of discernment is spiritual blindness what lack of discernment is to the realm of the spirit that's what blindness is in the physical realm the moment a man is close to the impulses of the activities of the spirit there is no effect of it. so things happen around our lives and we we become victims we become um, um, victims of the effects of things that happen not the initiators of the faith the minister of prayer it was on the strength of prayer that when satan spoke to peter jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me satan and he said peter satan desired by discernment he desired to sift you like wheat he said but i have what what was the antidote prayed for you not discussed with him i prayed for you peter something is wrong with your discernment you didn't even know when the holy ghost was speaking to you you just said i am the christ and the spirit took over your voice you didn't even know the difference he said i'll pray for you because that's what is wrong the absence of the healthy altar of prayer it has numbed your discerning ability there are many believers here and it's sad if you are a leader here and you're a pastor believe me if you don't pray you will your discernment will be dark and blocked one of the greatest advantage of walking in the spirit is access to feeling the impulses of the environment of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a real realm like the physical realm right when you get born again and you are filled with the holy ghost as you begin to pray the first thing that happens to you is an activation of the ability to interact with the atmosphere of the spirit it may start in dreams it may start in visions it could be dramatic but then your spirit listen to my message spiritual perception your impulses of the spirit right they be, you begin to pick signals there is danger uh -uh. god does not want me to go here he doesn't have to give you a reason lack of prayer has brought a lot of catastrophe not all these things will just stroll around 30 minutes one hour you just throw back it's called the effectual farfet you don't add time to father you add passion to it and as far as your passion can drive you that's the validity of the prayer time it's not about saying i'll pray for 10 minutes or five hours or eight hours 
you will pray until the nothing of the spirit releases you you are praying to burn things in the spirit not for the formality of religion the problem with the prayer ministry is that most people pray to feel spiritual and then maybe to intimidate themselves their little group so if i pray for 30 minutes you add 30 minutes to it and it makes you look spiritual no when you are a spiritual man there is always an object that drives you to the prayer part time and as you pray you keep checking the rewards of your victory as against the impulse and stop only when that victory is established this is where we move it when elijah prayed was it just according to desire he wanted an effect first time he prayed only god knows how long that was he said go and check there was no result what did he do again we stop we stop because it's two hours we use earthly time to gauge certain things you see the 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 things we are contending against sometimes will require time and certain dynamics of spiritual operation to produce victory so if you have this idea that because you are you want to pray you just sense god wants to speak to you and then you pray for 30 minutes or one hour and you feel i am okay you see you are using a wrong timing the same way if you pray for eight hours just blindly and religiously and think because you prayed for eight hours it means you are making contact with the spirit no sir you pray according to the guidance of the spirit the spirit of god instructs you he navigates you your prayer there is a connection between a burden in the spirit and something in the realm of the spirit and you pray until there is a release when the servant came and said i've seen the sign elijah stopped at once he didn't say let me just continue since i've gone so far he stopped at once because prayer has a purpose once the purpose is achieved stop and move on in action brothers and sisters hear me especially for those who are workers those who are students those who are maybe business people and so on and so forth the the propensity for negligence in the place of prayer is very high are we together as a student you have lecture in the morning sometimes marathon lectures you are finishing in the evening you may have fellowship or you have certain things the truth is when you calculate it you find out that there's no time for quality prayer are we together now you see the most important thing about prayer it's not necessarily praying eight, eight hours every day at your level you cannot pray eight hours every day you'll be irresponsible in your activity the key is to maintain the fire and set periodic times when you compensate for the absence of the secret place. at least i expect everybody once a week you should be able to have some time when you can dedicate certain things and let me tell you in my life one of the biggest secrets of my prayer life is the mystery of night prayers i can tell you this ask any man that prays the night time is when men, men gain crowns in the spirit why do you think people die in the night when they sleep why do you think people sicknesses and diseases amplify in the night there are many mysteries we don't know in the body of maximize your night time especially for many of us here because we are young establish things in the night don't crash into trouble and then you are wondering what to do in the day the daytime is for manifestation we settle realities in the night believe me it will not rob you of sleep it's just a little sacrifice of prayer that will bring you tremendous power I hear God clearly at night there are times I go outside and I just sit down everyone has slept I just sit down outside and I'm meditating many of us have been cheated in the night time the devil has studied your spiritual life and he has seen your area of vulnerability let me tell you something do you know there is something called slumber I hope you know it's a spirit uncontrolled passion for sleep you are passionate about sleep i'm not just talking of resting you know you are tired and you are resting some of us is a spirit no matter how you plan to pray once it's night even if you slept from morning till that time you are just going to 
thank the Lord, Lord, I bless you and snore your way to the morning. He says, Spirit, if no one has told you something is wrong with your destiny. Many politicians and businessmen, their time of meeting is in the night. Witches and wizards and demons that do all kinds of things. You take advantage of the mysteries in the spirit. There are times and seasons that grant you access by grace. You see, if you do not know these things, if you do not know these things, you will, you will miss out on a lot of things. Why is it called the Lord's Supper? Not the Lord's breakfast. Not the Lord's lunch. Why was it done in the night? Because there was no time? No. It was a mystery. I pray for every dead prayer life here. Or every prayer life that is need driven. Father, I'm coming before you now. The other time you gave me 5,000. Listen, if you really want to be strong and gain power and open the heavens, your prayer must be effectual. The key to effectual prayer is praying in tongues. There is a place for praying in your understanding. But I'm telling you, if you want to make an effect, pray in the spirit. For no man knows what is in the heart of a man. Said the spirit that is in that man. So no man knows what is in the heart of God. You don't just go around grumbling, just praying, sing one or two choruses, which is good. The key to prayer, I'm telling you, effectual prayer that builds you is praying in tongues. Spend time praying in tongues. Not just in English or in your language. No, there is a place for that. Pray in the spirit. And please, if you are here and you have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit correctly and seriously, I want you to know that there is something you are missing. Now, I know, I don't want to go into all the details. Our time is gone. We come from different churches different ministries i know we have different ideas my goal of teaching this tonight is not to create controversy but i love you too much not to tell you the truth if you are not filled with the holy spirit i don't know what you have been taught about it we have teachings already there you can listen to it this is there is a need for you to say lord i need to upgrade it's not just about praying blah, 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 making noise no this is a spiritual language the bible calls it an instrument that helps our infirmities what is our infirmity the bible says we do not know what to pray for as we ought to but the spirit makes intercession are we together don't say i just love the lord i'm, I'm okay I'm, I'm fine honestly i don't want to complicate my spiritual life it's already complicated this world we live is very complicated the ministry of prayer is what will straighten that crooked path he said elijah was a man of like passion like us he said he prayed earnestly that there would be no rain for a space of three and a half years elijah locked the heavens and put the key in his pocket he said the heavens will not be open except at my word not the word of any man of god that is serious these are men who took territories they 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 taught the heavens open one time he was up the mountain some enemies came you see that a man of prayer let me tell you if you're a man of prayer and any man goes to any shrine to concoct nonsense oh come on ask the prophets of Baal what happened to them the Bible says they kept calling on Baal for money Elijah said maybe he's sleeping wake him you know why many Christians are weak in the body of Christ we love comfort to a fault and and we men of god are the ones who have destroyed people i believe in prosperity you know that i believe in the blessings of god but brothers and sisters let me tell you there is the sacrifice you must make for your destiny the sacrifice of prayer it's not all about having cities there are giants on every mountain are you hearing what i'm telling you there are giants on every mountain you're a pastor you are not praying you just share a revelation and you are happy you believe you come on stage no prayer no periodic fasting no strength you just want to speak and let things happen do you think god is a herbalist no god is not a herbalist please if you're a pastor here pay attention to what i'm telling you except you want to joke around with your members or you are ready for empty pews the generation we are in now members are not ready to waste their time for nonsense again once they come and sit down and you are wasting their time 
they will get up and they will leave no matter how you pray pour one gallon of oil on your head we need power it takes prayer to access open heaven are we together we had drama in churches for two hours and then when he's about to pray they say everybody bow your head as if we are mourning somebody just recites a prayer request for 10 minutes they say okay thank you jesus for answering prayer and people get up and that's why we keep getting weaker and weaker no discernment spiritual things are flying around your territory nobody has the eyes to see and the ears to hear until it happens and everybody is confused May that be, not be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Three enemies of prayer. Number one, excess food. Excess food, there is a name for it. It's called gluttony. Believe me, if you take what I'm telling you, your prayer life will step into another dimension. Am I saying you should not eat? No, not at all. Excess food, gluttony. There is a connection between food and the flesh. Number two, excess sleep. Excess sleep. The second enemy of prayer. Excess sleep. Number three, the third enemy of prayer, worry. Worry. Worry is a spirit. That's why the first assignment of worry is to bring you to a point of depression. Have you seen people with worry? I don't mean people who are just thinking real worry they can't even talk uh -uh, are you doing well they just keep quiet because satan's goal is to shut your mouth he knows that there is power that is released if you open your mouth he says my heart is indicting a good matter yea i speak of excellent things he said my tongue is the pen of a ready writer psalms 45 1 and 2. my tongue is the pen of a ready writer men ought always to pray brothers and sisters pray turn and tell your neighbor pray say pray again say pray again say pray in the night yeah pray in the night you will you will command tremendous power there were times in zaria most of the people here will tell you night time was the time people built strength ah come on you would see all kinds of strategies of prayer strategies but well, god is helping us i'm just i'm just challenging you brothers and sisters please hear me if you are married husband and wife pray a praying husband and wife is a staying husband and wife a lazy husband and wife is a divorced family already it's a matter of time because every spirit the devil will move across families and he will come like the angel of death pass through every city but when he got to Goshen he came he saw that he saw that there was a fortification what fortification have you put around your life John chapter 1 when Satan went before God what happened he met a man who made oblations for his children it was a similitude of prayer and Satan said I came but I could not access him have you not built an hedge around him Satan is a prayerless Christian he said powerless christian beauty and glory of god comes upon your life when you pray don't put prayer as an instrument of crashing this is the problem some of us pray but the entire scope of our prayer is god give me are you not seeing give me and we try to manipulate god and bend his hand that's why he gave you the blessings of praying in the spirit pray in the spirit in the spirit you can put worship songs your earphone or something to create the atmosphere pray in the spirit even if you cannot pray in the night early hours of the morning why not put a little worship song charge your spirit sing one or two songs blast every mountain before you in tongues and walk out in the day and you become a living miracle you are walking with the heavens open and what looks miraculous for others becomes your atmosphere men will sit down and plot evil you will walk on it as if satan does not exist ah, those are the people who will not be affected by the arrows that fly by day nor the noisome pestilence 
there are people who will be affected you are a christian but you will still be affected but there are those who are in you i pity the native doctor that calls my name in any time it's not just that it, if all that happens is that it does not work i'm still cheated for calling my name that charm and the native doctor was born to ashes when elijah finished proving his point he said no 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 no. if we stop here that's not all go and meet those prophets kill every one of them as a testament that you don't try god the devil has mocked some of our lives and we're just watching running for counseling and discussing some of you this night you will lock your door and say i'm offering my phone lord it must change families don't pray they discuss they call people to come and gossip but they never pray we meet people for counseling we go and meet babalao we go and meet all kinds of people but we never pray we pray as a last resort Oh God, I come to you. You too, you have seen what we have done. We have made all of our efforts. Whereas, we should come before God. There was a king in the Bible who died because he didn't seek God. It was a taboo to seek other things when you have problems. We depend on uncles. If I talk to my uncle, he will do this. Let me tell you, never take action on anything until you have prayed about it. Especially major decisions in your life no matter how convinced you are pray because there is a way that cement right unto a man but the bible says the end thereof i can't tell you how many things i wanted to do plans i had physically speaking they look fabulous but when i went to the place of prayer there are many things we wanted to do as a ministry i would discuss in our leaders meeting oh we are going to do a and b i will go back to god it is silent i come back they know already the moment i say we'll do a thing and I'm silent about it. They know God has. Do you have the courage to keep quiet if God is silent? Do you have the courage to stand still if God is not moving? If the cloud did not move, they did not move. If it stood still, stand still. The true benefit of prayer, not this thing people do just for spirituality, just to show that I'm a man of prayer. People bend and deceive themselves to show they are praying. That's not a sign of prayer. That's nonsense. Those are the kinds of things that make God look like an idiot. Prayer is serious business. And it commands victory. Say, I receive grace to pray. Say it again. I receive grace to pray. Grace to pray. Take charge of your atmosphere. There are giants on every mountain. If they didn't spare Jesus, they will not spare you. I guarantee you. Make no mistakes. Do not think they will not come for your business or your family or your children. You have the testimony of our dear mother. Do not think they will, they will, the devil will attack anything that can be attacked. If it does not happen, it's coming. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord. The Bible says after the temptation, he left Jesus for a season. For a season. He came through Peter. Jesus detected him. He said, ah, you caught me. The next time he came through Judas, the son of perdition. Jesus allowed it to be so that scriptures will be fulfilled, not because he was not ready to overcome. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne and I'll hear from the earth. My altar is calling you. Oh God, my prayer is calling you. Oh God, oh speak from the heavens and I'll hear you from the earth. Oh speak from your throne and I'll hear you from the earth, from my altar. Is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Do you have an altar that calls it? 
do you have a secret place that calls him when there are men who seek your flesh and they are invoking upon altars is there an altar that answers or are you just loitering around hoping that life will work men have died because they did not have altars let me tell you please play no games i'm not scaring you lady don't think you will just get married because you are beautiful take back your priestly robe tonight and go back to the place of prayer there is an effectual fervent prayer there are many brothers you will not just be established because you are a graduate there are giants on every mountain a man can look at you with his saddest spirit and vow that you will not move forward it takes prayer to move mountains by the grace of god this ministry is moving as if the devil does not exist it's not because the devil does not want to destroy this ministry there is a mystery there are there are mysteries like cornerstones that we have found and put around the boundaries of this ministry number three the third key to carrying and releasing the glory and the manifest presence of god is worship the last scripture and then we'll continue next week during the miracle service second chronicles chapter 5 we'll read verse 13 and 14 just two verses very interesting this was the dedication of the temple when solomon had built the temple there was a sacrifice upon the altar and he was about to dedicate the temple hallelujah second chronicles 13 and 14 it came to pass listen as the trumpeters and singers were what as one making one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the lord and when they lifted up their voice with trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the lord saying for he is good for his mercy endured forever that what then the house was filled with the the cloud filled the whole house right the next verse so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud for the glory of the lord had filled the house listen in 2005 i conducted a personal research jewish worship and the mystery of god's presence i was obsessed i wanted to know what the secret was how will a man just step into a place and the atmosphere just changes physically as if he carries a dimension of glory i wanted to find out because i saw this happen in the lives of the jews i saw this happen to people who were associated to the jews like benihim and so on and so forth they would just sing and worship and before you know it the glory will fill the place oh i wish we had time we'll take it from here next week but brothers and sisters worship is a mystery that compels the presence of god to be made manifest worship is a mystery the third key to activating the manifested presence of god here and now in a place worship it's not enough to just be obedient as powerful as prayer is there is a dimension many of us are missing in our spiritual life worship the bible says in psalm 100 it says that we enter his gates with thanksgiving then it says and his courts with praise it said come before him with singing the protocol to meeting him is song singing come before him it has nothing to do with the quality of your voice it has nothing to do with your music proficiency although that's an added advantage however you cannot give an excuse that because i cannot sing i cannot raise songs and incense of worship unto god next week i'm going to be teaching us the protocol of acceptable worship not every kind of worship is acceptable the proof that your worship is acceptable is that his glory responds to it i'll share with us the mystery of cain and abel a type of the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh the bible says both of them 
they came and they offered sacrifices of worship right and abel gave of his firstlings and his fatlings and Cain just gave up the vegetables and all of that and then the bible says how that the sacrifice of abel rose up to the heavens and that of cain did not rise up and cain killed abel when god met cain he said where is you know where is abel he said am i my brother's keeper and then he began to challenge him and he said that if he did what was right paraphrasing would his sacrifice not be accepted sacrifice of worship is not just about singing there is a protocol that leads to acceptable worship the first key to acceptable worship is found in Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 I beseech thee brethren by the message of God that ye offer your bodies that's the first key that ye offer your bodies not your songs not your voice not your offering not your oblations not the lifting up of your hands like the morning sacrifice above and beyond that there is a protocol there is a system that must precede your songs he says your body must become a prototype of what you want to offer with your lips and then hebrews 13 gives us a picture of the fact that worship and praise is sacrificial so the first is there must be death we explain that the second is that it must be a sacrifice it says let us offer unto god the sacrifice of praise which are the calves of our lips he calls your sacrifice the calf of your lips in the similitude of that which was done in ancient times in the temple he says when you worship god it is in the similitude of the killing of bulls and rams he says offer the calves of your lips a sacrifice that is acceptable unto him hallelujah that's why we took our time to worship and as we began to worship god began to respond and touch people the spirit of prophecy came upon us and we began to minister three short things that i've given you tonight that control the manifestation of god's glory you can't argue it they are not they are not they are not opinions they are the spiritual formula for accessing the glory of god number one obedience number two a a consistent life of effectual prayer hallelujah number three the incense of worship oh let my praise rise before you the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice these are all mysteries the mystery of the lifting up of hands the mystery of repetition as you sing you see a lot of people sing it the jews used to sing songs one line they would sing it for hours just like you see many people in many religions it's, it's not an enchantment there is something they do the mystery of repetition you see that happen in the songs that the psalmist wrote their response will be for hallelujah thank you praise the lord for he is good and his mercies endure forever or for his mercy shall endure ever faithful ever sure and so he will say a lot of things and then they will keep responding listen they didn't write songs as musicians they wrote songs as spiritual men they didn't have that skill to compose songs it was as it was delivered to them it was delivered in a particular way that if they sang it it will make god respond in a particular way for instance that formula you are good and your mercy endures forever you know i've studied it i found out that every time the nation of israel wanted deliverance that was the song they sang it had to be that line they invoke the goodness and the mercy of god two things that we quote every sunday they are following us and we never see because we don't believe them the goodness of god and the mercy of god 
it was the goodness of God that passed before Moses I will let my goodness a dimension of my glory called my goodness pass and then his mercy he says for it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed hallelujah we're going to rise and pray just for a few minutes and say Lord I want to see your glory in my life I'm tired of just being a Christian coming to church I want to begin to walk in the glory of God lift your hands and begin to pray hallelujah lift your hands and pray father I desire to see the glory the manifest presence of God in my life can you pray please go ahead Koinonia, are you praying? Are you I desire to see your glory in my life. Lord, I'm tired of a barren Christian life. I receive that grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. I want to see your glory revealed in my life. Let the eyes of the blind be opened through my hands. Let the cares of the death be unstopped. Let my life represent breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Grace for unusual obedience. Lift your voice and pray. Grace. 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 Grace for unusual obedience. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Grace for usual obedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, please I'd like you to pray. If your prayer life is dead on its way to death, don't feel condemned, don't feel embarrassed, but I'd like you to pray. And say lord bring it back alive my prayer life at every level you can move higher lift your voice and pray the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous are filled much make sure you are praying Lord, I'm tired of lack of discernment in my life. I'm tired of acting carnally. I'm tired of acting just by my sensory impulses. I pray my way to divine secrets. I pray my way to divine strategies. I pray my way to divine secrets. hallelujah hallelujah let's add one more prayer under the area of prayer you're going to pray many of us see things and hear things but there is no grace access to understanding so there are so many things god is showing us but we are deaf of understanding so we do not have the grace to interpret or to interpret correctly lift your voice and cry say grace to understand he said, understand it, what thou readest. It's one thing to see. It's one thing to have a dream. It's one thing to hear God speak. But it's another thing to understand. The working knowledge of the revelations you have received. You need it for your marriage. You need it for your ministry. You need it for your job. You need it to know where God wants you to be. Part time. understanding understanding lord i'll not just have dreams i receive understanding i'll not just hear your voice i receive interpretations accurate unemotional interpretations of spiritual reality <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point lord teach me the art of worship worship in a way 
that can bring your presence to abide and remain in my life lift your voice give me songs from heaven give me songs in the night melodies of the spirit let me hear the songs of angels let me hear the sound of the spirit give me the songs for every season the song to sing my way into the glory to sing my way into breakthrough to sing my way into healings and miracles to sing my way into prophecy grace to sing the songs of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah next week i'll teach you briefly before i begin to minister during the miracle service listen pay attention to the songs that god brings in your life seasonally there are times the spirit is the one who recommends the song you will use in your worship stay there don't be rebellious those songs have authority upon them to bring a dimension of breakthrough in the last maybe three months the lord speaks to me through songs I have i have gotten so many songs are we together now pay attention music is one of the languages in the spirit you must pay attention to the impulses the sounds sometimes it could just be the line of a song you are glorious so glorious in your way that's what lands upon your spirit don't just guess your song and say the song is not in my tribe no there is authority in that song it's like a sword it's an instrument of warfare you keep singing it sometimes for hours are we together now yeah that's how i get see let me tell you i can give you testimonies of personal breakthroughs in my life as a result of certain songs so glorious in your way no other song will do you just keep singing it you get up in the morning and that's the only song you hear my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by that may be a song in your spirit you may just receive it god is telling you i'm coming too for you but you see the problem is many of us do not know you are supposed to take it don't stop singing it that's your instrument that's a pass in the spirit but we drop it and then raise all kinds of choruses in our languages and we're just singing and dancing and god is saying no there is acceptable worship are we together there are times you see us in koinonia here two weeks three weeks when i come up stage or the worship team we keep repeating certain songs there is authority upon the songs we stretch them until the grace that they came with from heaven is delivered unto the people then the songs will rest pay attention to songs everyone can receive songs whether you're a musician or not it's a product of alignment not just musical accuracy you can edit it but you can receive a song hold on to it and sing your way to an ending breakthrough it was the playing of the string that casted out demons right from david there was a sound that the spirits heard he said there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect your worship is an incense it's a language that calls the presence of God. Lift your hands and let me pray for you. In the name that is above all names, let everyone represented here begin to walk in dramatic signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, the barrenness in your Christian life that makes your revelations mock you because there is no grace for performance i command it to come to an end right now in the name of jesus christ that for every dimension of spiritual reality you communicate there will be grace to demonstrate its validity here and now in the name of jesus christ i pray for you everywhere you have tried to activate the operation of the word and have not gotten results go back now and see the strength of the almighty god upon your life in the name of jesus christ where you laid hands on the sick and nothing seemed to happen i empower your hands 
you go back and you will watch dramatic miracles in the name of Jesus hear me the supernatural dimension in your life must be clearly made manifest for the world to listen to you they are not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God they are tired of noise there must be something supernatural you must desire the operation of the spirit to be activated in your life you must covet earnestly and desire it that Lord my life will become a host to your glory that it will be a privilege for people to receive me because they know as they receive me they give space for the glory they will bless you someone sows into your life and gets a, a million fold return do you think you will sow again yes because he's sowing in the glory you pray for somebody and ripple effects of unending testimony it will motivate you but if the only thing that consoles you spiritually is that maybe you are understanding bible or you are going to heaven your spiritual life is barren hallelujah the holy spirit is still speaking to people you may have money you may have anointing you may have cars but let me tell you this the bible says if your hope is only in this life you are of all men of all politicians of all businessmen of all men of god miserable there has to be a cry from your heart lord i need you is a sign of humility is there someone still joining them very quickly i want to pray your coming to jesus means i am ready to close the door to all the friends and personalities in my life that are not ready to head my direction your coming to jesus is a revelation that lord i am ready to be serious with you it's not just you are coming as a preamble to receiving a miracle and then you run back no in plenty and in none leaving you is no longer an option in my life hallelujah i want to lead you some of you are crying let me tell you this if you have any loved one who is not saved i hope their names are in your prayer request because i know that some of us if i ask you what is on your prayer request now the only thing is wife husband promotion and and there's nothing wrong with that but let me tell you this is is funny but from heaven you will still see your loved ones in hell you will know they are the ones it's not that you are going to look at them and say i don't know i don't it's a lie you will know that this one is my mother this one now you can't do anything about those who have gone but there are people now you know in your neighborhood around your life it is the lord's desire that all men be saved please if you are a pastor here take the issue of soul winning seriously be careful all these things we learn around in the name of mentorship i believe in me be careful many people are veering off there is a there is a path that brings power and grace at the end of your life you don't want to be a wise master builder be, be careful the flamboyant does not necessarily mean god is there be careful especially for some of us who are younger ministers we must be wise you don't just swallow everything hook line and sinker just because it is being done no sir no sir no sir no sir there are churches where an altar call is not made for more than two years then one day they organize one hilarious pretentious revival and then just draw one or two people it's a joke it's a joke more than healing more than miracles more than getting a job more than all of this is the eternal destiny of men i am interested in knowing that i'm not praying for someone going to hell it's a waste i'm interested in knowing that i'm not teaching someone a principle to prosper when he's already gone to hell it's a waste I will teach you about the finances and the kingdom life when we know that your eternal destiny is secure. 
those of us who are standing i like you to pray and say lord just one prayer before i pray for them lord make me serious with you make me serious with you please pray it's a very serious prayer there are some of us you are not going to hell but the truth of the matter is you are not serious with god no There's nothing about God that, that can steal your passion. It's not priority. You see people function in the house of God and you say, oh, these ones, is because they are called into ministry. There's no such thing as that. It's your hunger. Especially for some of us sisters, we have to pray. Lord, make me serious with you. I don't care how many men like you. I don't care what they have told you. If you are not serious with God, your life is in shambles. It's true. Lord, make me serious with you. Let nothing else sustain the ability to take your place in my life. That's a very good prayer. Hallelujah. Come live in me, oh my love. Take over. Come live in me, and I will. a parent here when your children get to the age of discretion the moment they can think and they can understand lead them to Jesus consciously it is very responsible lead them to Jesus if you have not done so as you go back home don't just say my children are smart call them preach the gospel to them the moment they, are, they can think they should be born again please be take let nobody stay in your roof you have a neighbor that is squatting with you he's not serious it doesn't matter no it does no it does no it does they can choose to reject jesus that's all right no one goes to hell because he's a sinner everybody goes to hell because he rejected jesus that is the sin that takes men to hell i rejected him i had a choice but I rejected him. Jesus, carry your load and walk out of my life. Those of you in front here, I truly appreciate you. Whatever you have in this life, if Jesus is not above, it is useless. Let me just tell you the truth. I want to lead you in an honest prayer. I know some of you are crying. Overflow, one, two, three. Those online, please listen. I'm not asking you whether you're a business mogul. I'm not asking you whether you have how many degrees. All those things are useless when you are no longer here. I'm going to lead you in an honest prayer and I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Listen to what you are saying and pray it loud. Are you ready now? Say after me with all your heart, passionately, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. This night, I make up my mind and I make a commitment to serve you and to live for you from today till eternity. I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. I declare that my sins are forgiven. I declare that the life of God, eternal life, is mine today. Holy Spirit, I receive you as the life of God in my spirit. I declare that I'm a child of God forever. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for these ones. They have unashamedly come. The Bible says 
that if you are ashamed of me before men i'll be ashamed of you before my father jesus speaking lord these ones have come opening their hearts genuinely to receive of your grace i ask you oh god you who is the helper of us all help them i declare your sins forgiven i declare that the righteousness of god is at work in you the grace to live a victorious christian life the grace for passion and intimacy with god is released upon you in the name of jesus christ every pain and every legal access the devil has over your life is hereby broken forever in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate every one of you now listen i know that some of you are rededicating your life to christ there are a number of you those in here i just want you to walk out this way and then the various overflows i know that there are people attending to them they will have your details i praise you very quickly and you return back to join us in the service i salute you thank you so much for your courage your life will never be the same god bless you please direct them make sure someone is directing them make sure someone is directing them hallelujah amen please sit down hallelujah there are two ministries that i believe will be reignited in a fresh dimension two very great anointings i really believe with all my heart and and it's been confirmed from different people seasoned veterans of the gospel across the earth number one is the healing ministry i believe that the church has lost a major dimension of the healing ministry it's true even some of us that supposedly walk in it the truth is that most people have not experienced the full import of the healing ministry the healing ministry i'm going to be showing you a few things and then we'll pray we'll get to the business of the night the healing ministry is very important it played a major role the challenge was that most of the healing evangelists got to a point where they were carried away by the healing and no longer christ and his purposes because the healing ministry is a means is a sign that points men to jesus it's possible that because of the charismatism around the healing ministry you can veer off and your whole focus becomes the miraculous and not the christ himself the second ministry that i believe will be experienced is the ministry of wealth and abundance is true this wealth transfer that you've heard people say i believe that god has suspended that dimension for a reason because as a body we are not yet ready for that dimension the our perspectives about kingdom wealth and finance does not warrant god releasing that level of blessings because for many of us our hearts are still corrupt over the idea of money are we together the average person's idea about money is just some kind of um it's just a, a quest to get and buy nice clothes and nice cars and prove that i am successful there is a place for that but if that is the scope of your idea then you do not need any wealth transfer are we together yes so god must first walk upon our hearts it's the same way years ago there was a very strange manifestation of a lot of things that happened in zaria angelic feathers gold dust silver dust you know people started having these strange encounters and one i remember one night the lord told me he said i'm withdrawing this experience because it's leading to idolatry it didn't reach one month 
and that experience was withdrawn people will go to pray and for hours all they are doing is checking their hands to see if there's any gold or silver to use it as an evidence to validate spirituality and god said no if i don't take it away one demon will give it an innocent prayer warrior a feather and he will carry it and idolize it in his room until he begins to mislead another group of people and so god withdrew that experience god only releases experiences to people and territories where there is a level of maturity and discernment he knows that when this reality reaches the people they will not abuse it until now as i speak to you there are people who don't understand the purpose of money and it is being abused and so god will not release it until the body is taught the money is safer with bill gates is safer with all of these people than it is with preachers and pastors because they have worked on their minds they are better treasurers for god than us so all it is true that there is a wealth transfer coming but not not some money monger kind of thing it won't come that way anyway i just thought to share that let's look at the ministry of jesus luke chapter 6 i study the gospels a lot because the ministry of jesus inspires me he's the greatest model that i have and i like to i like to study his idea what did he do what was captured in his ministry luke chapter 6 and verse 17 to 19 luke chapter 6 verse 17 to 19 this is jesus now having the sermon on the mount okay i'll just read it from here and he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of the disciples a great multitude of people listen out of all judea and jerusalem and from the sea coast of tyre and sidon who came to hear now listen carefully the people came to hear amplified says to listen to him he came to hear him and to be healed there is a relationship between hearing and being healed they didn't just come to be healed they came to hear and to be healed verse 18 or still verse 17 to be healed of all their diseases 18 and they that were vexed with unclean spirits so we see the kind of people that came for Jesus' meetings. Those who were sick. They were sick. Terribly diseased. They came to listen to him. There was something he taught them about listening to his words. And the healing power of God. So they came to hear and to be healed. The second category of people we see. They that were vexed with unclean spirits. And they were healed. Unclean spirits. The source of their pain and their discomfort were the presence of unclean spirits. And the Bible says, and the whole multitude, listen, sought to touch him. Why? For there went power out of him to heal them. I love the ministry of Jesus. So the Bible tells us why the people got healed. That there was power. Other versions say virtue. There was something that Jesus had that would leave him into the people. And the moment it entered them, they would discover that their sicknesses were gone. Are we together? Hmm. Acts chapter 10, when you read verse 38, Peter was teaching. That was the salvation of the Gentiles in the house of Cornelius. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 with the holy ghost and with power listen it says who went about doing good went about doing good went about doing good so we see other things that jesus did that were not captured he didn't just heal the sick alone he didn't just deliver the oppressed alone he went about doing good breakthrough is a good thing restoration is a good thing he went about doing good and then healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him any ministry that wants to reproduce Jesus' ministry 
and, and by the way, I hope you know that what we do today is an extension of his ministry. Jesus' ministry did not end with his ascension to heaven. Are we together now? He said, it is expedient that I go. Why? So that the comforter will come. It is to your advantage, advantageous to you that I go. Because my transition will allow the Holy Spirit to come. Like the mantle of Elijah came on Elisha. Now that mantle that was on Jesus, the spirit himself without measure. So that we can partake of that spirit and become an extension of his ministry. We are gathered tonight as proof that the ministry of Jesus has not ended. We are gathered tonight because we believe that he still heals. Do you believe that? We are gathered tonight because we believe that he still delivers. We are gathered tonight because we believe he still does good. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as the father had sent me. This is Jesus speaking. The father sent me. I now send you as the father sent me. Both in terms of the scope of the assignment and the equipping. The father sent me with power. And every time I spoke, something left me to validate what he said. He said, so also I sent you. You see, if the power of God does not back up his word, it's fraud. It is the power of God that validates the truth, the potency of God's word. So at some point in this service, we should expect the power of God to find expression. Not just in people, you know, receiving impartations here and they're wonderful. But we expect the power of God to heal the sick. We expect the power of God to cleanse all kinds of unclean people who are cohabiting with demon spirits that are manipulating their lives and manipulating their results. At some point in this service, we should see the superiority of light over darkness. Is that true? At some point in this service, God should be able to step over your issue to see that that 10 year long issue just dissolves like this, just like that. Is that true? If that happens, then we can say with all sense of gratitude that we are an extension of the ministry of Jesus. But listen to me, brothers and sisters, if this does not happen, we are wasting God's time and we are wasting the time of God's precious people. That's why we prepare for all of the meetings, especially the miracle service. Because you have not just come to watch a man. You have come to see an extension of the ministry of Jesus. You have come with your requests. You have come with your medical reports. You have come with your pain. You have come with all kinds of oppression. You have come with all kinds of closed heaven. And you're saying, Lord, if you are the only one I know who can help me, let me tell you, your coming is faith enough did you hear what i said you're leaving your house to come is faith enough it's true like a patient goes to the hospital once you're in the hospital just leave the rest to the doctor then the doctor begins to prescribe and this is what is happening to us an extension of the ministry of jesus let's look at one scripture mark chapter 1 21 Mark chapter 1 and verse 21. And they went into Capernaum, still the ministry of Jesus, and straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered the synagogue and taught. It's interesting how Jesus held his crusade. He would take out time, not just to preach, but to teach. Jesus knew that teaching was the system for sustaining anything that the people were to receive. Are we together? If the entire scope of ministry is just miracles alone, it, it becomes volatile. The people receive it and then it just evaporates. But when they are taught, it guides their understanding to keep that which they have received. You can lose something you have received. It's true. You can lose healing. Demons can leave people and re-enter them again. But when the word of God is taught, it gives you the basis are we together now? So Jesus taught in their synagogues. We're reading. It's, it's a long reading. Let's see how far we can go. Just keep, just continue. And they were astonished 
at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes 23 and there was in their synagogue i love jesus see how his miracle service was as soon as he just finished preaching it was time to demonstrate the reality of the kingdom and there was in that service a man with an unclean spirit and the demons began to cry out 24 saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us we know who you are the holy one of god and so on and so forth and jesus rebuked him saying hold your peace and come out of him this is jesus for you this is jesus for you because that man's life was obviously in shambles because there was another spirit that was cohabiting with that individual manipulating his intentions and jesus looked at him this does not reflect the kingdom and he brought that spirit out like it's going to happen to many people the forces and the spirits that are responsible for the results we do not want but keep seeing until they leave all these things are a joke when the unclean spirit had turned him he cried out in a loud voice and he came out of him 27 we're reading down to i think it was 39 or so i just want us to walk through the ministry of jesus and they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority he commanded even the unclean spirits and they do obey him let me tell you this when you command an unclean spirit and it goes, it is a big deal. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Doctors can treat sickness. They can cast out devils. Machines can show an elongated lung or heart, but it cannot show the spirit sitting there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? These spirits are living entities. They can hear they have a system and a structure. They were designed to respect some people and disobey some people. Are we together? They understand ranking in the spirit. So when you issue a command, as Jesus did, and these spirits are forced against their will to leave that individual and that habitation is proof of dominion. Are we together? Yes, it is. It truly is proof of dominion. Look at Jesus used this. The people were astonished. They said our priests and rabbis didn't do this. They couldn't do this. I hope you know that while all the priests used to preach, that man was in the temple and the spirits were hearing. But the words were not potent enough to force them to leave. So they kept coming service after service. May you not be a man of God that cohabits with demons. And that people come and sit under your anointing and under your meeting. And the demons that cause poverty, failure, whatever it is. You share the grace and they share the grace with you. And you go out. No sir. Haba. What then is the excellency of light over darkness? Your presence should discomfort the gate of hell. So well that there is no pretending about it. That's why some of you bring people here. You notice you bring them and when they sit down while praise and worship is happening, they want to run away. It's not them. It's not them. The devil knows that when you come into an environment that can bring you emancipation, Satan will revolt and fight and fight again and again. But tonight the devil is a liar. It's too late. Really, it's too late. 28 and immediately his fame spread abroad all through the region round about galilee and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered into the house of simon and andrew with james and john let's see what happened and simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her now jesus is healing we saw him cast out devils He's about to heal now. And he came and took her by the hand. I love Jesus. And lifted her up. And how, may, how long? Immediately. Immediately. Do you know if Jesus did not touch her, she would remain like that. And you would think it's the will of God. Don't trivialize an anointed hand. Goodness. 
Jesus walks in and says, I'm introducing something to this woman's body that until the arrival of that thing, the condition does not change. That contact, the Bible says immediately, the fever did what? That means the fever was a living thing. It could move. Abba, is it, are you not intelligent people? The fever left. Pastor Alpha left me. Before Jesus came, the fever was with her. They gave it all kinds of interpretation. Jesus, look at what Jesus did. He didn't talk. He just touched. The Bible didn't say they shall lay hands on the sick and speak. Just by making contact alone. Are you seeing that now? Some, it was about the transference of virtue. And it forced the spirit. There was a separation. That means the discomfort you feel is because there is something with you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. That means that growth, that swelling is a sign that there is something with you. Ah, but the hands of Jesus extended through us. You see that? I, I'm, I'm creating expectation in you. That means that pile would never have been piled until a spirit came in partnership with your body. And just saying pile go is not what will, will make it go. There is an agency that will separate you from that pile. You will call it a miracle. There is no reason to remain sick when the spirit has been separated. Look at it. Immediately, not slowly. So the question is not whether you can be healed. The question is whether the anointing is sufficient to separate that spirit. Because when it happens, the Bible says immediately. And she was so healed, she went straight to the kitchen. Straight to the kitchen from a bed. And he came and took her by the hand. And brought unto him all that were there at even. When the sun did set. Like Koinonia now. They brought unto him. That means there was an information that had reached town. That when we bring certain people to this man, there was something about him that was able to heal them. They brought unto him all that were what? Diseased. And them that were possessed with devils. See the kind of people that came to Jesus. As a man of God, if these kinds of people are not coming to you, it's not the issue of I'm not called into this ministry. Something is wrong. Because they should discern that the hand of God upon your life should function in a pattern similar to that of Jesus and should make them bring certain people. There are, there are creative dimensions that his anointing can bring. Creation is needed when there is no possibility of having that reality again. Then you create it. Not everyone may be sick, but let me tell you something. Everyone needs the hand of God. There are some of us, our heavens are closed totally. And don't act as if it's not important. Nobody is favoring you. No open door. You are born again, but your life and your door and destiny is closed. Can you trust God to open this door for you? It's not by might. It's not by power. You heard the testimony of, of uh, Joy. She said an uncle who does not even call her. Something made that uncle call, brothers and sisters. Because that uncle also has relatives somewhere. Everybody who blesses you has someone in need around him. What makes him to leave them and come to you? No. Are we blessed? One question I'll ask you and then we'll begin to pray. Are you truly tired of the situation? You see, there's something... I think I was sharing with I can't remember who I was sharing this with I was saying pain it was you Jimmy pain is very important sometimes the only way to let people see your sister allow that pain don't stop it because there are people if you have not been pushed to the wall you will not see the need for God for as long as there is somebody answering your prayer for you you will not see the need to be serious. So sometimes God deliberately allows it. And that pain. The day five of your children said, Daddy, is this how we'll continue? You just get up and say, I'm coming for koinonia today. I'm, I'm tired of this. That pain. 
was an indication that something is wrong and that it needs remedy fast pain there are people who never run and come to god but you just press one side of your stomach and you just felt ah something is growing what is this next week the thing increased you told a doctor just touch it and say, ah, i don't want to tell you the name pain just say when is that miracle service served? the power of god is real it can produce miracles it will produce miracles in your life tonight do you believe it i expect that not only would god heal the sick not only will he cast out devils listen carefully i expect that tonight by his spirit he will lift you out of certain captivities lack of favor delay there are some of us who are trusting god to return certain things that left your life for years whoever told you it cannot you heard the lady that said they stole her phone they came with matchet and stole her phone i remember she sent me a text that they came to carry a matchet foolish thieves they don't know that a body without a spirit is dead The same way you have been carrying a certificate that's the body where is the spirit component that's why you drop it on a table and they throw it in a dustbin but when the spirit component comes let me tell you this god never designed a man to do anything on earth unassisted a spirit entity must assist you even you if you meet a herbalist that herbalist is not alone there is a spirit assisting him you see that yes don't walk through life by your strength and power please help them life will be too hard for you this is the mystery of hardship rejecting the assistance of the spirit i would dare not do ministry without the spirit what else will i be doing but with god with god all things without him you are on your own but when you involve him and not only involve him go a step further by letting him lead the way then your life becomes a wonder i'm showing you many of you are surprised the same surprise was in the bible they were astonished what manner of man is this astonished and then the man if he's wise will tell you look i'm not alone jesus said i'm not alone all these miracles you see i'm being assisted brothers and sisters the result you see in this ministry is a product of assistance the realm of the spirit is in partnership you can't be standing here and someone is shouting outside shouting at overflow no no Habba. words are not hammer but when the spirit is upon them that word will enter you like a drug and all of a sudden you will find out that certain things will go <laughs> It will work in Zaria, it will work in Lagos, it will work in London, it will work in Saudi Arabia, it will work everywhere. Are we together? Mm. The spirits that oppress us must give way. I'm, gi I'm taking out time to charge your heart like this because I want you to receive. The most important thing is not the ministrations as it were. The most important thing is creating this expectation. Many of us come and we are just hoping. Um, okay, God, I know you will bless me. In the name of Jesus, may God lift you. Amen. I just, well, it was a nice service. And you go back and nothing happens. You keep watching people come to testify. Blessed is she that believes, the Bible says, for unto her, not unto them, there shall be a performance hallelujah i believe the lord i came here full of the holy ghost and i came here believing with all my heart you are sick get ready to be healed don't 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 say well let's watch and see get ready to be healed you are oppressed of the devil you may not even know you are oppressed you just know that nothing is working in your life i want you to be tired and say god will you bring me here so especially for those of you who came so far lord will you carry me and bring me here 
and take me back like that there are some of you in ministry you came to contact fire lord will you leave me will i leave my members my fellowship and come back here and go back no evidence of favor i believe him i believe that he's a mighty man i believe he's awesome i have seen his hand i have seen his power and ladies and gentlemen i present to you the same god yesterday today forever i present to you the same healer yesterday today forever i present to you the same deliverer i present to you the one who took joseph from the prison overnight i present to you the one who turned saul to the apostle i present to you the one who turned rahab to be part of the genealogy of jesus i present to you your destiny changer i present to you your destiny maker i present to you the anointer of men the one who puts oil upon the head of ordinary people and changes their life i present to you the prosperer the one who can program a climate of favor over a man as though you are holding a child i present to you the one who can give you influence can lift you from nothing and make your life a wonder a specimen an epistle of his hand that's the god i present to you i have given a very nice speech we're about to step back and allow the king of glory ride over this place and let me watch the mountain that stands before him let me watch Zerubbabel on oh, no no he said who art thou mountain who art thou mountain who art thou infirmity who art thou delay who art thou stagnation before Zerubbabel he said before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain Lift your hands, I want to pray. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. There is an impartation of the grace for favor. This is what the Lord is telling me. The grace for favor. The grace, I'm about to pray, for favor. Favor is a revelation that God has given me. My life is a testimony of that reality. I want to pray for you now. Believe. Believe as I pray. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare right now. Father. Even as you have revealed to me. From this main auditorium. To overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three and those online lord i release an impartation for the grace for favor receive it right now in the name of jesus receive that grace in the name of jesus receive that grace in the name of jesus i stretch my right hand and i decree and declare step into a new level of favor step into a new level of favor Step into a new level of favor. 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 We need favor in our lives. Most of the things we pray about are under the office of favor to solve. I say it again in the name of jesus every challenge in your life that only the favor of god can solve i stand before the god who has helped me and has helped this ministry 
I release upon you an oil of favor. Take it now. In the name of Jesus. Take favor. Take favor. Receive favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. A strange dimension of favor. Favor that will surprise you. Favor that will accelerate your life. When a life, listen to me, when a life has no favor, it is clear. The proof of lack of favor is the absence of helpers in your life. Not the absence of money. You can have money. You can have intellect. You can have a job. But when there are no men in your life, you don't have favor. The proof of favor is not the coming of money. The proof of favor is the rapid response from men to attend to the issues of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that the men that will show up in your life to validate the grace for favor, I prophesy them upon you now. I call them by prophecy in the name of Jesus upon your business, upon your job, upon your projects. May men arise to help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is the grace for favor. Those of you who are on the social media may have heard of a testimony that had been trending for a while. I traveled to Lagos last week and just when we got down from the aircraft on my way going, listen carefully, something is happening here. A young man just walked to me and held me and I looked at him and he said, sir, remember me? I said, well, I don't remember you. What's the story? He came here, Koinonia, with a property, his property, and carried it and gave me as a seed. I said, what for? I mean, you're a young man. What will you go and tell your wife? Brothers and sisters, from November till now, nine properties and one estate came to him. A young guy. Hamba. Is it charm? What is on you is what brings things to your life. It's not what you want. It is what is on you. In the name of Jesus, that anointing that must come on you, I declare that it comes on your head right now. It comes upon your head right now, producing strange results. It comes upon your head right now. It comes upon your head right now. Just follow me. Some of you don't know how you need favor. You know you need favor, but you don't know what extent. I can't imagine that there are human beings that live on this earth without favor. You will never be able to be happy on earth. No. I can you check let's check our lives the truth is for many of us there is no favor it's not that the helpers are not there there has to be something on you to bring them every lifting that God has brought by his grace happened in this Zaria not London Zaria here many of us live unrewarded lives because there is nothing on you drawing men to bless you nobody thinks about you God does not talk to anybody about you a gentleman I think one of these uh, I can't remember one of these Fridays and he stood to see me after the service and he said man of God my life is hard can you help me with some money and I looked at him I said you are not a wise gentleman I know you need money now but you should ask yourself the person giving you the money where did it come from the wiser prayer is for favor. I said, let's do an experiment. I told him, I said, I will pray for you for favor. Return next Friday and tell me what happened. If nothing happens, I will give you money. Agreed? He said, yes. And I prayed for him and he went. Brothers and sisters, on Monday, Monday, that's the Monday after, that gentleman sent me a text. 
and he said his uncle that he's even fighting with their father that he did a very serious transfer and told him that who helps you in school and he said nobody he said so why have you not been reaching me all of you these proud children and so on and so forth that he was going to start sending him money i said you you believe that that uncle just did it by his will listen this world is too wicked for somebody to just like you that's flattery this wicked world where a man can slaughter a child's head then what makes you believe they will just like you enough to see that you rise it takes favor can i pray that prayer for you again in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god you have done your best you have done your efforts you have struggled is almost killing you now receive the grace for favor receive the grace for favor may your life change by favor receive the grace for favor hallelujah it is favor that brings resources it is favor that brings opportunity there are many gifted people there's no one to reward them there are many nice people many wonderful musicians nobody to place a demand on their grace it's so annoying when you see someone you are better than but he has favor and you don't and yet you have to say yes sir her man did not think Mordecai was good enough but favor and he said everywhere you see the chariots of Mordecai bow the knee Mordecai is passing yes a gatekeeper you may not like a person but when favor is on them it will veto whatever you think I pray for you again every door that must open in this season to validate favor I command it to be open now I command it to be open now listen you're not going to build a house by savings let me tell you the truth it's not in today's Nigeria you're not going to buy a car by saving now practice all these things you're not going to to settle and train your children just by saving money you will need a grace that can accelerate your results otherwise you will never be a giver you will never you can't be a giver just by saving peanuts 10 naira and 100 naira when there is a demand life will demand so much from you that if you are not operating under favor you will be frustrated and that's how satan wants to trap men he will trap you and make your life miserable let's release this favor on our families you have received it for yourself but let it get to your family i pray for you in the name of jesus christ my father every family that is represented here by the anointing of the holy spirit let there be a release of favor let there be a release of favor favor on every family favor on every family listen sometimes eh it is not warfare that destroys it is even how favor works favor can kill to make sure that one person rises some of these proud relatives that make fraternities with darkness and sit upon the destinies of families and make ghosts and say for as long as we are there you must route your success through us if you attempt to rise without us you will not rise i declare that the sword of favor may it get to every family and dislodge everybody who wants to be god in that family hallelujah favor in one minute I want you to begin to mention all the areas you want to see favor and speak lift your voice begin to pray begin to pray participate lord i release favor concerning this job pray i release favor i release favor favor concerning my building project
project. I release favor. Are you praying? Shabalakata praska de balara balara bo. us with favor like a shield. You surround us with favor like a shield. Pray. Make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus. Favor like a shield. Favor in my academics. Pray. Favor over my job. Lord, favor, favor, favor. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you the truth. You see, Ba, this prayer you are praying, if this prayer is truly answered in your life, this is how you will stand. What is this? This favor prayer you see, there are people who have touched of this favor. They can tell you, favor is fearful in its operation. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they carry the crippled man. I don't deserve the palace. He says, still come. And the king said, you will sit here and eat with me. Let me tell you how you know it is favor. Listen. Favor is not one time. When somebody just says, hey, Jimmy, I want to give you water. What? That's just goodness. Favor is I want to keep blessing you. I want to continue doing this. Many of us, what happens is that we're mistaking goodness for favor. Someone just appears once and just says, look, I want to help you. And it never happens again. When it is favor, a process is ignited. It keeps following like that. It's true. Study the things in your life. You'll be able to separate goodness from favor. There are things that just happen one time. But favor, favor continues so. I'm seeing fire on my hands and I want to pray because the Lord wants to bless the works of our hands. Listen, whether you're on a job or whatever it is, you see, these hands you see, they are, it's a mystery. It says, the, the hand of God, it was with this hand God made man. Are we together now? This hand you see is a symbol of your productivity and if it is not blessed it will bring struggle to you i want to pray I'm, I'm seeing fire on my hands and i want to pray because for many of us who are getting results but our results are too small i stretch these hands the fire that the lord put upon this hand in the name of jesus i release it let it come upon your hands let it come upon your hands representing your job your academics your business whatever it is that you're involved in i release i stretch my hands may that may that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ you go back with that hand and write a proposal and it will shock you what will happen you go back with that hand listen listen believe this and pick up a document and submit and someone collects it and is under the influence of what your hand brought it's true it's true why does god do these things to give us rest so we can serve him why does god open doors to give you rest financial frustration and all kinds of related frustrations are strategies from satan to distract you and make you to keep seeking things you never will truly be able to seek god when certain things have not been solved in your life it's true you can't give god your best when you are still thinking of what to eat you are thinking of what to wear but when God takes those things away, your prayer life becomes worship, not just hours of petition in the flesh. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Overflow 2. There's someone, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on someone. Overflow 2. The overflow by the roadside. Bring the lady. Hello, him Adonai. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Overflow 2. The overflow by the road. Please, quickly. We have to hurry up. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Can I talk to you, madam? This woman, please tap her for me. Come. Hello, him There is a spirit that doesn't want this woman to rise. Hello, him Thy kingdom come. Thy will be. The Lord is opening the eyes of your parents. I'm seeing the Lord opening their eyes to a realization of something the devil has been using. In the name of Jesus, especially for this lady, I command it so now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every conspiracy of darkness over you and your family is hereby crushed to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I don't know who you are, but let me pray for you. There is a spirit. I look at you and I see a woman who should be walking in certain realms of favor. You love the Lord, but there's, it's, like, it's like a trap. You just cannot move and make progress. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. As I pray for you, madam, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman. The devil has put something in this lady's stomach. This lady you are holding. I command in the name of Jesus, remove that evil you have put now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm about to pray. And I'm already seeing a vision of what will happen. There will be such a massive, massive, massive deliverance. Now, let it not surprise you. I've explained to you what this thing is. It's a separation. You should rejoice when it happens. Because it means that you are entering a new season. 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 A new season.
no force can stand it in your life there is an anointing here there is an anointing here a new season something is breaking here right now in the name of Jesus something is breaking here in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus receive it something is leaving you something is leaving you it must go shake it take it take it take it shake it take it take it and take a name of new season new season I stretch my hand something is breaking here there's someone an anointing is coming on you breaking a limitation right now in the name of Jesus I command that spirit leave that lady now in the name of Jesus supernatural whether the earth whether fire that people pass through fire to make ordinances at the count of three I command those ordinances set on fire one two three let there be liberation right now every family covenanted to the waters covenanted to the air to trees I set you free now
Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a map and I'm seeing all your state. All your state. This is the hand of God. The sword of the spirit going to all your state. Bringing deliverance. There are times that God moves this way. In the name of Jesus, I command whoever is from that region, may the power of God begin to touch you now. May the power of God begin to touch you now. Complete liberty. Complete liberty. Complete liberty. Overflow three. Please lift your hands. Just watch your screen and lift your hands. Overflow three. Don't worry. You, you, they, you, you don't have to bring them. The distance is far. Overflow three. Just look at me. I see the angels of the Lord doing something there. At the count of three, overflow three, I want you to shout the name Jesus because I'm seeing swords. That's what I'm seeing. And the Lord is bringing a massive, massive breakthrough. Massive deliverance. In the name of the Lord Jesus, overflow three, are you ready? I'm seeing chains of stagnation about to leave you. Right now in the name of Jesus, everyone under any kind of oppression, at the count of three, shout Jesus, one, Two, three, supernatural liberty, supernatural liberty, an outpouring of the spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, I want to pray. The Lord is showing me something that is very interesting. The Lord wants to break cycles there are people every season certain things happen every september somebody must die every three three years somebody married must divorce in the name of jesus lift your hands you don't have to ask whether or not you are involved don't worry the anointing will look for you i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus the power that activates cycles demonic cycles over the lives of people so that certain patterns and events keep repeating themselves in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands call that lady back that lady lift your hands my dear God is not done with you I look at you and I see oppression there is something that the devil has put in you if I don't pray for you very soon they will start telling you you will start feeling pain they will say fibroid in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I command that devil let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ every cycle over anyone's life are you ready to shout Jesus now at the count of three to surprise you what God will do one two get ready three the chain of cycles broken cycles cycles of failure cycles of miscarriages cycles of unfruitfulness by the sound of the spirit be broken now hallelujah be broken now i want to pray um please this man i don't know who the this man yes please quickly we are soon going to pray for the sick I may not have time to prophesy to individuals I'm standing near this lady and I'm seeing a snake this is what I see in the name of Jesus I curse that devil I'm not seeing a human being I'm seeing a snake in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ overflow one I'm seeing the power of God this I just mentioned snake and I was seeing serpents just moving at overflow one right now I'm seeing it's like a sword dividing those snakes that's what I'm seeing it's happening to people at overflow one in the name of Jesus let it be over now snakes and scorpions the mystery the mystery of snakes and scorpions he said I give you authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy sir i want to pray for you i don't know whether you came here for us 
coming here, sir. You have been but, coming here. Uh, but I was tra I traveled before that, so I have not been coming. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. If I don't pray for you, the devil is going to kill you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. They have already closed you. I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. You love Jesus? Be careful so that they don't bring these herbal things for you. Huh? Yes, uh, is that true? Yes, sir. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing them bring something for you to yes. help you. Yes, sir. That thing is a charm. Yes, sir. It's not hap it's charm. Yes. Native yes. doctor. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, That's sir. what will even kill you. Yes, sir. It's not going to solve your problem. Yes, sir. The people doing it are well meaning. Yes, sir. But the truth is that they are going to kill you for nothing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Because you are not even responding to it the way they say you should respond to it. Yes, and you violate it will destroy you. Yes, sir. Can I pray for you? You have, you have taken something in your system now that will even destroy you. Listen, let me tell you. When you are pressed, we are humans and we can be pressed to the wall. Going to the devil to get a charm is, is you are facilitating your destruction. If Satan gives you tea here, he will hold a knife and stab you at the back. Father, by the mercy of God, I pray for this man. Let him not die. In the name of Jesus, I close the gate of the grave over your life. In the name of Jesus. Both the herbalist and the conveyor of those charms, in the name of Jesus, we scatter that shrine into pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, sir. The Lord perfects you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Something is leaving this lady. Oh dear, she's vomiting. I'm looking at her and I'm seeing something. Agnes. God is not done with that guy or that young man with blue. Please, if you are not Agnes, don't come here. Please. Your name is Agnes. Where are you from? I need to pray for you. I'm seeing an attack on your life. This attack is coming from Calabar. Huh? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Cross River. You are from Cross River? Yes, sir. Come. I must pray for you. Kai, there is somebody, the Lord is setting the person free. I'm seeing a friend going to a herbalist and they are asking the friend to give somebody and they wrote the name of that person. You are here now. In the name that is above all names. I'm serious. Don't think I'm just hyping you. In the name of Jesus, whoever's name has been written by any demonic friend or whatever herbalist, in the name of Jesus, because that person you keep seeing dead, dead people, you even saw yourself in a coffin. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit now. I'm going to pray for you. And then we are going to pray for the sick right now. Ah. There is some serious deliverance. I'm, I'm seeing something happening in the realm of the spirit. This is, this is, this is a serious. Father, let this lady be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, you, this lady, come. You love Jesus? Huh? Yes, sir. Come. You... I'm not condemning you, eh? Look at me. You have to be very serious with God. One, two, friends. Look at me. God has delivered you many times. You would have destroyed yourself, eh? You're a small girl. You need to love God with all your heart. Please, be very careful so you don't go and put yourself in something that will destroy you. I love you, eh? I love you and that's why I'm telling you this. You need, you need somebody to counsel you and follow you up. Hmm? I'm not going to say everything I'm seeing, but you have to be careful because it's God that saved you now I'm seeing something, a virus anyway, in the name of Jesus Christ Father, I pray for your daughter, help her by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ 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 
I'm standing and I'm seeing a tree and that tree is this lady and something that was planted and the Lord is saying uproot it I uproot this thing now in the name of Jesus Christ I uproot it now the spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benway State I've never been there physically but I'm seeing Benway Benway and I'm looking and I'm seeing like a tractor pushing trees down it's like there is a covenant that has to do with trees in the name of Jesus Christ if there is any family involved in this I command an uprooting every tree that has not been planted help them by my father every tree I see Benway State in the mighty name of Jesus let there be an uprooting an uprooting an uprooting and uprooting in the name of Jesus let me pray for you my dear you are a nice lady but there's bad luck in your life very bad luck and the Lord wants to help you father help your daughter in the name of Jesus Christ bad luck be gone now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord help you come my dear let me pray for you I'm about to pray for the sick now our time is gone in the name of Jesus Christ there are some my spirit is heavy to prophesy but because we have to I want us to pray for the sick so that I can just make those declarations we may not have time for one-on-one -on -one prophecy but I'm telling you God wants to touch touch a lot of people my dear I want to pray for you in Jesus name the Lord is rolling away the reproach in your family rolling away the reproach in your family in the name of Jesus my dear look at me you are entering a new level of lifting you that's what I'm praying for you for I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on your head and the Lord is saying I should tell you that is a new level of lifting you this lady looking at me I prophesy it over your life in the name of Jesus Christ who is this who Agnes Agnes where is she Abuja. Abuja, sir. your sister yes father in the name of Jesus I pray for this lady where is she Abuja, sir. she loves Jesus yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ pray that no man will come into her life and destroy her eh? in the name of is she married huh? in no. the name of uh, whatever it is in the name of Jesus Christ may God help you mama come let me pray for you it's your season of breakthrough come is this your child come boy come I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing that God is going to use him this is a small boy boy how are you the, the boy doesn't even know but I'm going to pray for him Samuel did not know that he will become a great prophet one day when Eli he was just an innocent boy I'm going to pray for him mama please stand up I will pray for you look at me ma please don't be embarrassed but the Lord is saying he wants to take suffering from your life this thing they call in house wahala God wants to take it from your life you are a very sincere woman that loves the Lord but this this cause of hardship um, this woman loves the Lord with all her heart. Father, you, what's, what's the name of this boy? Riba. Huh? Lifted. Okay. Your name is Lifted? Yes. Father, I lay hands on Lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ, use him mightily. We are all products of your grace. Lift him and use him mightily. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ and I'm telling you this the month of April is your month of strange breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ the month of April is your month of breakthrough Azuka come lift the camera first let me pray for you and then you keep the camera I want to pray for you because I'm seeing a big project coming for you and this project is going to lift you this is something that has to do with your snapshot 
but God is bringing someone. It's been something you have desired that God will bring someone to open a door. And truth, you have been faithful. You have even been serving in this house. But I want to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, lift him. Take him to that dimension of grace. I release that anointing upon you. It will no longer be an ordinary camera. I call forth men that will lift you. I command it so. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Open doors for you. Open doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. This lady. Um, Sarah. Come. There is witchcraft in your family. I have to pray for you. This thing is affecting everybody in the family. Everybody. Everybody. Not There's no exception. Everybody. Lord, take away this plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful people, beautiful ladies, but all kinds of trouble from the pit of hell. Jeketos kata pakaria kato zibranda kata. Jebros katos gede katambria kata. In the name of Jesus Christ, I silence the voice of the accuser. I silence the voice of the accuser. I silence the voice of the accuser. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to pray for the sick now. Listen, I know that there are a number of people who came here sick and a number of you have come trusting god for healing and miracle let me pray for this lady how many of you have your prayer request now lift it up ushers your prayer request those online make sure we collect it this this lady let me have her hands lord jesus let this trap of darkness over this family represented by this lady give way now in the name of jesus christ just hold her gently should be fine submit your prayer request quickly now we are going to pray for the sick don't allow any nonsense remain in your body no matter how small make sure you insist that it leaves make sure you insist that it leaves we are going to be very fast please we'll be very fast now let me say this when you stand to receive healing don't just stand and be staring as if you are sleeping let your heart be open are we together number two accept whoever is praying for you ask you what is wrong you don't have to say okay it is my ears or my don't worry don't worry the people praying for you have been trained and the anointing of the spirit will touch it doesn't matter what auditorium it's a corporate grace that is working here hallelujah and for all of us who are seated whilst this is happening make sure you are praying because I'm, I'm literally sensing as if I want to throw up. It's the spirit of prophecy. There's, there's something that the Lord is putting in my spirit to release. And that's why I want to pray for the sick quickly. So that we'll pray this prophecy. If we do this, I'm satisfied in this service. We have to be very fast so that we'll conserve time. Hallelujah. Jesus, someone please help with collecting the request. Make sure that even those at the extremes of the road... Their requests are collected. Please, everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. By the ministry of the Spirit. Several people serving as contact points. But we pray that your power and your life will touch the sick. Lord, your people have come. Some of them with incurable diseases. Some of them with all kinds of devils. I decree and declare that your anointing will prevail over every challenge. Let your people return with testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Please be seated while you pray for a while as we pray for these people. Pray, spiritualize yourself. Make sure that you are submitting your request and make sure you are praying. Thank you, Jesus. My beautiful you have taken away the shame, taken away the pain. You make my life so beautiful My beautifier You have taken away the shame Taken away the pain You make me just like you My beautifier You have taken away Taking away the shame Taking away the pain The pain. Taking away the pain, make me just like you. Me just like oh, you. my beautiful, my beautiful, you are taking away, taking away the shame, taking away the pain. Baby, just like you. And my beautiful, my 
Presented here are the requests of people from several nations of the world and several across this nation. In the name of Jesus, Joshua Selman cannot answer any man's prayer. So Lord, I transfer the trust of your people to you. The 
one who is able to meet every need and on the strength of the grace that only comes from you and in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the resurrected lamb the one who is most victorious I prophesy and I turn every request here to become a testimony in the name of Jesus Lord as I walk through these requests in the name of Jesus that is exactly how your people walk through every challenge every challenge every challenge no matter what it is I decree and declare that the grace to triumph above it is released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ listen to me no matter what it is no matter what it is provided it found its way here in the name of Jesus Christ the same hand that wrote it is the same hand that receives the testimony the same hand that wrote it is the same hand that will receive the testimony there are people who need to lack sleep for these prayers to be answered may they lack the sleep there are people who need to be promoted for this prayer to be answered may they be promoted there are agents of darkness that must be laid to rest for these prayers to be answered may they be laid to rest in the name of Jesus Christ let's pray if they are still praying for you in any of the overflows don't worry you can just connect with them while I pray for you by the grace of God you will not write your request twice I thought I was done but I just felt drawn again to it whatever it is that you wrote here that requires a creative miracle that means the solution is not currently in existence anywhere may the one who created the heavens and the earth create your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you as long as God grants me the grace I will never stop prophesying over you it is the greatest thing I think I can do if I give a word of knowledge because I'm limited by time and I'm limited by my own understanding and my level of alignment to God I may not be able to accurately address everyone but when it comes to prophecy everyone can receive are we together now wherever you are you can receive you've heard the testimonies you've seen the things that happen the Bible says everyone who speaks let him speak according to the measure of grace there are some things this anointing can do and let's trust God that it happens in your life let's pray lift your hands father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that for everyone here who started this year in tears already that from January February you've not known joy I declare that as this week ends that's how your trouble and your sorrow ends too the Bible says no weeping endures for a night it says but joy comes with the morning I decree and declare the kind of testimony that will make you get down on your knees and say Lord I've seen you bless me but not this dimension may the God I serve release it to you anyone here jobless or trusting God for a better job in the name of Jesus between now and March miracle service return with your miracle job Return with your miracle job. Return with your miracle job. Anyone here due for promotion and whether based on tribal sentiments or whatever it is, you've been kept at a level. In the name of Jesus, I open the doors for you. Rise to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every manifestation of delay in your life others move forward but when it gets to your turn 
something just clamps you in one position or slow progress slow progress is as destructive as delay i command speed to your life i speak speed to your life i prophesy speed to your life in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and declare every advantage that the enemy has over your life in the name of jesus this is the season where all those doors are closed forever i pray for those in business here i speak over it the grace for multiplication let it come upon your business in the name of jesus christ i pray for those who are trusting god to correct certain things in their lives it may be results for students it may be something it may be a mistake of the past you've seen god correct things in strange ways here i command supernatural correction for you for every student here that the result you are holding is not your real result i don't care how long in the name of jesus the son of the living god we correct it right here anyone here involved in any kind of project building project whatever major project you or your loved ones i decree and declare the finisher's anointing comes upon that project in the name of jesus christ let me pray over your finances listen let me tell you this the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall ye be established he said believe in his prophets so shall you prosper if you truly believe god will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i pray for you i give you two weeks from today in the name of jesus christ that between now and the next 14 days let something notable happen to your finances listen I don't want you to think as I'm praying, you are thinking, oh, God will use A, B. Leave whoever God will use to him. I'm not talking business. In the name of Jesus, I say it again. Between now and the next 14 days, may the lifter of men surprise you in your finances. Hallelujah. Every gift of the Spirit that you had once seen in your life, and for some reason is either depleting in the grace for dispensing it or not there again i prophesy supernatural activation right now supernatural activation right now the supernatural grace for soul winning drawing people to god a strange grace I will not give you peace until people are coming to Jesus through you I release that grace over you I release that grace over you I release that grace over you take that grace now the grace to validate signs and wonders that through your hand listen not just through Joshua Selman in the name of Jesus those hands that are stretched towards me I prophesy to you the unction to walk in strange miracles receive it in the name of Jesus the grace to reproduce the miracles in this house I release that grace young and old male or female receive it in the name of Jesus I speak over your life that as you utter words concerning the destinies of men you will watch them come to pass with your very eyes in the name of Jesus Christ whoever needs to make peace with you I decree and declare the grace of God compels them to make peace with you hallelujah whoever has been directed by God to bless you and the devil is stopping them 
from obeying God is not necessarily financial. It may be to bless you with an information, access, opportunity. Whoever is supposed to bless and lift you and in the name of Jesus, the devil wants to stop them. I cleared the way for your contact with them. In the name of Jesus. Anyone here who needs an urgent breakthrough, maybe something that has to do with house rent, or maybe something that involves the police, just something that if God does not intervene, the embarrassment is going to be serious. I pray that between now and Sunday, the God that I serve, you may not see the wind, you may not see the rain, but brothers and sisters, may my God step in and surprise you. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. Whatever has covered the glory of God upon your face, so that people cannot see and partake of that grace and also reward you i tread that veil into pieces in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i pray for any and everyone here suffering from any kind of barrenness in the name of jesus christ by next miracle service you come back pregnant i say it again by next by next month miracle service you return with your baby in your womb in the name of jesus the spirit that makes you see what you want but never hold it is close to you you see it they promise you and say by tomorrow i will do something then in the night something happens in the name of jesus everything your eyes have seen i put it in your hand everything your eyes have seen i put it in your hand hallelujah finally i call your destiny helpers from the north the south the east the west whether they are in this country or outside this country i don't know how god will make them meet you but i declare they must meet you in the name of jesus they will not only meet you they will bless you in the name of jesus they will not only bless you they will continue blessing you I multiply dreams and visions and encounters in your life whatever has choked away your prayer life you used to pray for two three four five hours now you pray for 10 15 minutes you are drowsy you are tired it's an attack it is an attack it is the devil you used to be consistent but right now you wake up in the night you pray for 10 minutes you are snoring back in the name of Jesus tonight let there be revival upon your prayer life revival over your prayer life the appetite to study the word you once had it but it went away and for some of you you've not read your bible since last friday it's not that you don't want to the grace to make it happen is no longer there i command tonight may that fire for the word come upon you hallelujah for all your loved ones who are connected to you whether they are born again or not because you came here tonight i stretch my hand may the grace and the blessing that came to you may it get to them too in the name of jesus christ give jesus a clap